Well, hello there, all my fellow retail bulldogs and my pups. Welcome to the retail bulldog. I am the retail bulldog. You know, I get questions now and then. Uh, people ask me all the time, aren't you scared to work at a, this place at night? Um, oh, don't you... Are you afraid you might get robbed or attacked? Well, you know, that possibility is there. However, you can't go through life worrying about those things. You got to take care of you. You got to put food on the table. You got to make that paper. So, do what you got to do. Have there been instances? Oh, yeah. I've been called every name under the sun. And I've been called racist and all kinds of things. I've been called I've been called words that not only can I not repeat on YouTube, but I've been called words that well, frankly, I didn't know you could throw those strings of words together. And it gave me new insults. But have I been attacked? That question has come up. And yes, I have. As a matter of fact, I've been attacked over the most stupidest stuff. But the one that takes the cake, that drives a smile, but also a lot of confusion on my face, was when I got attacked over super glue. That's right, I got attacked over super glue once. Why? Because I didn't sell it. Now this gentleman came into the store and said, Hey man, you got any super glue? I said, I'm sorry sir. Now bear in mind, this was before the pandemic, so everything was still open. I said, I'm sorry sir, but we don't carry super glue here. But Jewel Osco is open, uh, as well as Meyer and Walmart, and they all carry super glue. He's like, bet. Walks off. An hour later, homie comes back. Hey man, sure you ain't got no super glue? Um. No, sir, I don't sell super glue. I'm sorry. But like I told you earlier, you can go to Jewel Osco. You can go over to Meyer. You can go over to Walmart. They sell super glue. An hour later, homie rolls back through. Goes, man, you really ain't got super glue? No, sir, I told you already twice, twice now, I don't have super glue. You can go to Jewel Osco, go to Meyer, go to Walmart. They're open. He darts off. I go back to doing my stuff. Another hour later. One more hour. Now, this is the third time. Three. Three. Waltz is on and goes, Man, you sure you ain't got nothing sticky for me? And I'm like, Bro, we've been through this two times already. I don't carry super glue. I don't have any glue. I don't even carry tape at this place. Proceeds to lose his dang old mind. Grabs the candy on the counter. They, we kept large boxes of candy next to the registers. Quick buy items. Incentive sales. So, he grabs it. I'm thinking, Mo, oh, dude's going to just dart off with it steal it. No, he proceeds to start grabbing those snicker bars and whooping them at me as hard as he can. And I mean, this boy is on point. 
with his aim, beaming them at my head, smacking me as hard as he can with these snicker bars, losing his dang old mind, yelling, You're not my father! You're not my father! You're not my father! I'm gonna kill you! Over super glue. Super glue! I have a guest walk into the store. Ding dong! Walks in. Dude stops throwing snicker bars at me. Turns to the guest and goes, I'm gonna kill you too! It proceeds to continue to throw snicker bars at me and then runs past the guest out the door. Naturally, I call the police. I press charges for assault. And they ask, well, what do you want to do? You know, obviously, I'm pressing charges for assault. And I don't want the guy coming back on the property. I'm going to ban him from the property. But, of course, you know, in order for any of that to happen, they have to find the guy. Well, the guy's long gone. And you're all probably thinking, never going to see that guy again. Retail Bulldog lost one. Well... Retail Bulldog never loses. In the end, the Retail Bulldog is always the one who wins. Remember, the house always wins. Don't go up against retail employees because we will win in the end every time. Whether it's by karma or by actions of the law. So, two weeks go by. Doing all my stuff. I'm helping out on another shift, and who shows up? Snicker boy! Or Snicker dude! Snicker doodle! Snicker whooper! Snicker man! Mr. Glue! Mr. Glue, Mr. Glue, Mr. Prowley was a huffing glue. Shows up. I immediately get on the phone with the police. Hello. Yes, I need an officer at the location I was at. And I'm ignoring him because he's going, please, please, oh, please, please, don't call the cops on me. I come here all the time, please. I shop here all the time. Please, 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 please don't call the cops on me. Please, please, please. Well, I'm ignoring him and getting the officers up here. I get the officers up there. I put, uh, I hang up the phone. Click. He walks outside, yells to his ride. Yo, they called the cops on me. Get out of here. Instead of hopping in the car himself. So his bow, ready, it just, his ride, his bros, every, they dart off. Leave him. And he proceeds to casually walk off. Just as the cops are rolling up. And they literally stopped, I'd say, three inches. Their bumper stopped three inches from hitting this dude right in the shins and ending his day in a very bad way. Which I'm thankful they did not hit him. But, I went, yo, that's him, that's the dude, that's him, that's him, that's the dude. They put him in handcuffs. Turns out, homeboy was on probation. So, he immediately went back to county. Also received his ban paperwork, so never stepped foot on the property again. But, got a charge for assault. And was charged for violation of probation. And guess what? None of that is my dang fault. That is all him. That's his fault. You take care of you. We are not responsible for your screw-ups. The retail bulldog will always win. And just as a treat for all my pups and retail bulldogs out there, me and a fellow retail bulldog have been discussing it for a few weeks now, and we will be doing a reenactment of this just for you, for your entertainment. And I really hope you enjoy it. It's going to be fun to do. Well, it's going to be fun for him because he's going to be throwing shit at me. Well, 
pardon my language, but he's going to be throwing Snicker bars at me. So, it's going to be funny, but I'm going to get hit again. 